Hi and welcome to the unboxing of the MacBook Air 13 inch M1 edition. This is just a simple unboxing as I'll want to get some good amount to use before a proper review. The device was shipped out to me and came in a grey envelope. Inside the envelope is a standard shipping box which is sealed on the back with some sort of tape, which I nearly used a knife to open but then I realized there was a small rip tab. So not only did I miss that, but I also missed it in the video as it was just out of the frame. The MacBook is cleverly ensconced inside between what I could only describe as struts to keep it in place and cardboard shock absorbers. After all that, you come to the sleek, minimalistic Apple design that almost everyone is familiar with. Product name on the side and a profile view of the product on the top of the box. The back has some product spec and other information, all sealed in a light plastic film. The actual lid is a bit hard to lift off and took a good several tries. Something to make this easier would be nice. Thankfully the laptop inside has a little tab to help lift it out of the box, and it's covered in an easy to remove diaphanous covering. As for the laptop, maybe it's just my perception, but the device looks a lot less slimmer than what I was expecting, and definitely has a good amount of heft to it. The top of the lid has the instantly recognizable Apple logo. The bottom has four rubber feet, and clearly visible are the proprietary screws which just says we don't want you to open this yourselves. One edge has the design by Apple and assembled in China lettering alongside some power rating and ISO symbols. First up directly underneath the laptop is a little cardboard sleeve which contains the quick start slash welcome guide, warranty and operational information in various languages, and two Apple logo stickers. Just underneath that is the power base which seems to have some sort of coupling mechanism with the female C7 non-polarized docking port and USB-C on one side. Right next to it is a 3-pin UK wall plug with the matching C7 non-polarized connector. These two are pushed into each other and I'm assuming you can get country-specific adapters to switch out. This delivers 30 watts through the MacBook's Thunderbolt ports. Next up is the USB-C cable which comes neatly wound up and secured with paper restraints which have these nifty little pull tabs that are satisfying to pull apart. Both sides are USB-C and the cable measures 2 meters in length. Opening the lid wasn't quite a one finger experience, I mean it was, but the laptop was pushed low when I tried. And when the lid is first opened up, the laptop starts up with a plethora of welcome messages in various languages. The screen has fairly thick bezels along the top and features a 720p FaceTime camera, which is kinda hard to make out in the video. The bezels on the sides are relatively narrower. The back is the same aluminium casing as the rest of the body with rounded edges. The keyboard has 78 keys, with 12 function keys and 4 arrow keys which are one third the size of the rest of the other keys. There are two upward facing speakers on either side of the keyboard which provide wide stereo sound and support for Dolby Atmos playback. The trackpad is large and quite easy to use. Even though I'm not a big fan of trackpads in general, I did find it quite adequate for basic navigation and clicking. On the right hand side there's a 3.5mm headphone jack. And on the left hand side there are two Thunderbolt 3 ports which are also set to be USB 4 on the Apple website. However, it's also shown as USB 3.1 Gen 2, which is only up to 10 gigabits per second as opposed to USB 4 which would be around 40 gigabits per second, similar to the Thunderbolt 3. So not sure what Apple is going for here with that information. Well that about does it for this unboxing. I'm hoping to do a review soon as soon as I get to grips with my new MacBook. If you like this video, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.